G'day guys, what's cracking? It's Ralph here and today I want to review the Platypod Extreme. Have you ever seen this? This is the most dynamic and advanced mini tripod I've ever seen and I wanted to show it to you. So I picked it up on a Kickstarter campaign. It was my first ever purchase on Kickstarter for $129 and it retails now for $149. And what you get is this, this, it's kind of nice envelope and a carabiner that you should not climb with that can attach this to your bag. So you can just sling it on. This is as light as anything and has some cool features that you should see and know about. So the idea is that it comes nice and streamlined and then you pull the legs out and they become legs. Look at that. And that sits at any angles you like and those legs lock in at how many angles? One, two, flat. So you kind of have two options. They can hang out or they can hang in. And that gives you a nice stable platform for your camera. And the screws, you can screw in or you can screw out. Or you can take the plug off the bottom and it gives you this sharp thing that I would recommend not sticking in your eye. <laughs> it's brutal. It's so sharp. You, um, you, could, you could stick this on a tree. I'm just going to get a hammer and just crack this into the tree so it would hold on a tree, no stress at all, nice and firm. And actually, um, another addition you can buy, which I haven't been able to find on the website, and I thought would actually come with this product. So, a bit of a surprise there, and I'm not sure what to do about that, but the idea is that you can slip a belt in here that's Velcro, and you can fasten it to a tree, so your camera can be mounted wherever you like off the tree. I'd love to show you, but I don't have the belt. So Platy Pod, my advice would be chuck the belt in or make it available on your website as a one-off. Um, surely it must only cost an extra 10 bucks on this, uh, like three bucks to make, and you get a decent profit and stick it um, in, with your, in with your gear. That would be super handy. Looking at the Platy Pod Extreme, you have a few options for mounting it. As you can see, there's a number of options you have where you can put a quarter 20 inch or the legs of the tripod and screw them in to give you different configurations based on your needs at the time. You can also attach the Extreme Platypod to a tree or a piece of timber or a bench or whatever you like by drilling it directly in. Or you can mount it to a tripod, that's no stress at all. Also comes with a central 3 8 mounting screw that you can put any ball head on it you like. As well as this little accessory that hangs around and can be super helpful in putting on other quarter 20 inch accessories. So it's really basic, yet it's quite innovative and enables flexibility. So if you want flexibility on your tripod mounting, your camera mounting, this is a goer. You can put it on the kitchen bench and do food photography. You can put it on the water's edge and do bird photography. You can actually slap it straight on your tripod and just use it as an extra accessory there. And you can alter the length of the legs so you can have them very, very shallow. So they're giving you enough grip so this doesn't move. Or you can have them long, which extends the mount just ever so slightly. You can also put goosenecks on that enable you to fix lightings or other accessories to product shoot whilst your camera is mounted on here. They cost $32 for a pack of two from Platypod and they can attach to any of these quarter 20 inch holes that are on the uh, Platypod Extreme. One of the challenges is I put my GoPro on here because you can put all kinds of cameras on there. Looks like I've got a moustache doesn't it? <laughs> I'm going to stick with it because I used to have a beard, don't mind the old moustache. The problem is when you use the male to male quarter 20, you're stuck with your orientation. So when it tightens up, it only goes one way and you can't loosen it. So just keep that in mind that what you want to do is when you put an accessory on there, you want the accessory to also be able to swivel and change because if it's static to the point, the mounting point on it, you won't be able to use it effectively. Now, a couple of challenges that I've found with this. First off, if you're changing the leg height, it takes time because you have to change the brake and the thing of each of the legs. Um, and so just factor that in that it's not a quick and easy like um, uh, problem solve. It would be epic if there was some sort of other quick release that you could activate here to slide the legs in and out and then lock it back in. That would be great. I understand why they've gone with the screw option. Also, you'll notice that these have the black stoppers on and this doesn't. I lost the black stopper. I've been using it for an hour and I lost the black stopper. And I, it's just... So what that means is um, 
One, the legs are all slightly uneven because there's about a 2 mil, 3 mil, maybe 4 mil difference here. So you have to extend the legs differently. But it also means that um, on the surfaces like this, I, I can't use it. So I'm going to ask Putty Pot if they could send me some because it's gone. Now what I would recommend is when you take them off, as with the case here, you put it in the neoprene uh, little pocket that's inserted in the neoprene case and that will keep them safe. But I lost it while I was using it and I didn't realise till later on. And it's black and tiny and it's gone forever. So, pretty disappointed about that because if you're using it for any indoor work now, this is super sharp and um, will scratch any bench that you put it on. So you, you need to... Yeah, and it'd be cool if there was some way of attaching it or even a little magnet in the bottom of it that it could attach to here or a little safety like latch or something. And these goosenecks, look at this. They just bend any way you want and do anything you want. They come with a couple of attachments so you can stick them together. You can attach other ones off of the side of it or other accessories off of the side of it. And you can put like, I suppose you could put 15 of them together and just have it like, but the weight of it would sag. Um, look at the, the, like if I put it straight, that's pretty good, but if I put another one on, the flexibility in this is really good. So they are a fun accessory that is super handy to have in the bag. I put mine in my tripod bag and lost them. So it took me a while to find them this morning. It's pretty, um, it's pretty neat and innovative. But if you have any questions about this, I would love to answer them. This is the second gen of their first um, issue, which um, I think they've done well. Love it if you would subscribe and like this video. That helps, and you can ring that bell. That helps even more. And what, um, what other additions would you like to see to this beautiful accessory that enables it to become even more versatile and usable in photographic scenarios or even video scenarios? Yeah, see ya.